It's not actually a hoverboard, but it'll feel like one if you learn how to master it. I'm here with Robert Bigler, the founder of Hoverboard Technologies. So what is this device? How does it work? <laughs> well, the hoverboard is, uh, is a one-wheeled platform, similar to a skateboard, that uh, has a motor in the wheel that reacts to very, very subtle tilting of the board. So it delivers the, the electronically delivers the experience of like surfing on land. So let's give it a shot. So the hoverboard is a little tough to ride. It, was that the plan? Uh, yeah, the hoverboard is its like a sport. And uh, it, it's an electronic vehicle, and it looks so easy to ride. The big deception about the hoverboard is when you see people riding it elegantly and smoothly that everyone thinks they can just jump on the hoverboard and, and ride away. <laughs> but it, it's not that way. It's an earned experience. It's similar to learning how to like one ski water ski or learning how to snowboard. But, uh, but after that, it's, it, it's a phenomenal one. So it's fun and it's actually a little bit more maybe rewarding because it's not easy enough for anyone. It's almost like a hipster hoverboard. <laughs> so who do you expect to sell this to? There's really nothing really like this in the marketplace. It's someone who, who wants a challenge, uh, uh, a physical challenge, but also someone who can uh, you know, afford about like half a jet ski someone who identifies with the thrill of kind of land-based sport. The hoverboard will show up on Kickstarter on September 17th and it'll finish its campaign on October 21st, which is actually the date when Marty McFly went to the future to try his real hoverboard that got everyone so excited about this thing.